The University of Virginia just one win now away from making history. The Wahoos have a chance to win their very first men's basketball national championship in school history. Our John Gonzalez is on campus in Charlottesville. He's taking the pulse of the student body there. But we start with Scott Abraham traveling with the team in Minneapolis, where tip-off against Texas Tech is just hours away. Does it get any bigger or better than this? Virginia on the doorstep of history. They are playing for a national championship tonight inside U.S. Bank Stadium against a very good Texas Tech Red Raiders team. Now this Cavaliers squad is battle tested, especially in the NCAA tournament. They pulled one out against Auburn on Saturday. They barely escaped Purdue in the Elite Eight, and they were also losing in the first round game against Gardner-Webb. Maybe this is a team of destiny. They just need one more win to be crowned national champions. This situation Monday night is exactly the situation as a child growing up with the sport you dreamed about, one game for the big trophy. Yeah, um, it means a lot. I mean, you dream of this your whole life, so um, don't want to leave anything uh, out there and just leave it all on the floor. I mean, it's saying that you can't make it bigger than that. You have to acknowledge that it's a 40-minute game and both teams can give their all. And obviously there might be some nerves at the start of it, but we're just trying to execute our game plan. It's a really cool feeling. Uh, I mean, obviously growing up, watching and just wanting to be a part of all this, uh, it's, been, it's a great feeling. This is the first time since 1979 that both teams are playing in their first national championship game. And those two teams playing back in 1979, yeah, they were pretty good. It was Magic Johnson's Michigan State team against Larry Bird's Indiana State team. Opening tip-off here in Minneapolis set for 9.20 Eastern time. The Virginia Cavaliers hoping to cut down the nets here in the Twin Cities. Reporting in Minneapolis at the Final Four, Scott Abraham, ABC7 Sports. That's right, Seaville dressed in orange today, and I got to admit, I got a little bit of the March Madness fever. You know, it's been well documented during this Final Four run, 1984, the last time the University of Virginia was in the Final Four. Gas was $1.13 a gallon. A brand new Chevy Corvette would cost you $23,000. Terms of Endearment was your movie uh, of the year, and, well, everyone was listening to Michael Jackson's thriller album, but Virginia never made it to the final that year. That changes tonight, and they are having a hard time here at Mincers keeping all of the merchandise on the shelves. It is going so quickly. This was the scene of the celebration on University Avenue on Saturday night. This school has waited 35 years to get back to the Final Four. Tonight, they're hoping for their first ever national championship. The moment we hit the shot and the .6 seconds was over, I ran out here immediately. I was one of the first people out here, and then all of a sudden the streets were just filling up. Uh, they, like, blocked that street off, and then the atmosphere was crazy. Boylan was playing music. People were standing up here, like, shooting fireworks. It was just unreal. What experience. does this mean tonight for this school? Tonight, it's uh, one of the biggest nights ever in the school's athletic history. They got to get past Texas Tech, of course. Charlottesville ready to erupt with jubilation tonight. ABC 7, your only D.C. news station here in Charlottesville, ready to capture what hopefully will be a massive celebration. In Charlottesville, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News. And we want to see how you are supporting UVA's historic tournament run. Wear your orange and navy colors, snap a few pictures, and share them with us. Hit the chime in feature on our free ABC7 News app or on our website to upload your pictures, and we may share them on the air. We'd love to see them.